Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Saturday Night Fever, the 1977 John Travolta dance movie and uh, I like John Travolta, I actually love John Travolta, I love John Travolta when he sings and I really like the Bee Gees and so this movie has John Travolta and I'm pretty sure that the music heavily features the Bee Gees, I'm not like the biggest Bee Gees fan, but I do enjoy some of their music, and I know Staying Alive is in this movie, and I love Staying Alive. I love that song so much, so I'm really excited to hear it in the movie. But yeah, I don't really know what this movie's about. I don't know what the plot of this movie is, if there even is really going to be a plot in this movie, or if it's just going to be just like a fun singing movie. I don't, I really just don't know anything about it, but I'm excited because I really like John Travolta in Greece. I thought he did an amazing job, and again, Staying Alive is in this, and so. I'm really excited for that. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and we decide what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. So I don't really know what color this movie should be because the poster is does not show up on Amazon Prime, but I'm going to go red for John Travolta. He wears like this black leather jacket and underneath is this really nice like red button up shirt. So I'm gonna go for the red for his shirt. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon. I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose, so thank you so, so much if you check it out. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, it is an early Wednesday morning, so I'm ready to watch Saturday Night Fever. So, I hope you enjoy my reaction, and I hope I dance a lot to Saturday Night Fever. Oh, the the song of the hour already starting at the movie. What a way to open! What a way to open with this song. Stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> John Travolta, no, no, no. Tony, the most New York name of all time. I'm assuming this is New York or Chicago. Could be Chicago. Why is he carrying some paint with him? What's he gonna do? You know he's the coolest guy in the block because of that red collar shirt. Stay alive. Ah, 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 ah. Go around back. Go around back. A dollar off for you. Ten ninety eight on this special gold paint. How do you like that? So he got it for seven bucks and now She's getting it for 10. Again, this way you're paid on a Monday, you got money all week. You can save a little, build a future. That makes sense. This is a shirt I got to buy, beautiful shirt. Sorry, Tony, no exceptions. Looks like you're not getting that shirt, buddy. Thanks, Seems like people know him in the neighborhood. Mother wants to know where you've been. Oh no. Oh no, is this guy gonna be rough and tough? Beer in hand? Oh, I don't I don't know. This might be rough. <laughs> He's dreaming of the disco. He's really preparing for tonight. Rocky! I love that he has a Rocky poster. I now like Tony a lot. Shut up, will you? Hey. It's a chain. It's a chain of whacking. Some tension. Nice sick. We just washed the hair. Yeah. Thought we said no hitting at the dinner table, guys. You, you know you turn a guy into a telephone operator. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hello, operator. Hello, this is God. <laughs> that would be really funny. Get back here. Yes, Come on, fuckhead! He always has something red on him. Now he has a red leather jacket. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> you want something? No, we ain't dropping nothing until I say. This guy is drinking the vodka like it's nothing. I would be coughing like crazy. Buddy, <laughs> anybody scores, you get in the car for 10 minutes and you're out for the next guy, you right? Get a piece of five, you get a middle. You only get the car for 10 minutes. Fuck you, assholes, with the faces. <laughs> Okay, listen to the song. Dude, this is like disco meets classical music. I love it.
Aw, oh, I'm on this dance floor somewhere dancing. This, oh, this actual remix of a classical song is really fun. Uh, give me a British uh, remix for now. John wants to get on the dance floor, baby. Very hard sweet thing to get in line, to get the pride. Oh, we're getting some John Travolta dance moves. Oh, I'm feeling the music, all right, Mr. DJ. I'm basically John Travolta in this movie, guys. Look at me go. Baby burn, burn, baby burn, burn, baby burn. Superman, I like your new haircut. I like that polyester look. Turn it up, baby. Stop talking, stop talking. Let's just listen to the music. Okay, do the spins. Okay, do the walk. All the mojo. Tony, can I wipe off your forehead? <laughs> what the heck? That's a good idea. You want to dance? Would you like to dance with me? I'd dance with you. Charity. <laughs> she is so starstruck. I mean, it is John Travolta, though. You, know, you can't really blame her. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just left her. Come back. Wow. So many people left because of this song. Is this gonna be the love interest? Wow, she's jiving and grabbing. Grabbing? And now a new word. That was actually a beautiful shot. The close up with like the lights in the background, the bokeh lights. It's double the prize money. Five hundred dollars. Ooh, that's a lot. We won before. But we're gonna have to practice. This is such a strange shot. It's all but. <laughs> but you know that, man. We'll have to practice. Aww. Uh, See yourself like a board would you? Hey, look, who's that take care of me, huh? Oh, it's the other. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not the other girl. Hey, listen, you gonna make a winner now? Man, she likes Tony. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Just, he's just having sex in front of his friends. That's so weird. What did you That's say your so name weird. was? <laughs> what did you say your name? Oh my days. Wow, she she demanded that kiss. Kiss me. Oh, oh, look at these moves. Oh, oh, the hands. Okay, okay, I'm in this line. I'm in this line. I'm in the back over there. You can't really see me because of the shadow, but I'm there. Okay. Okay, okay, disco, disco, yeah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, they're going ham, they're going ham with the chicken arms! Oh, okay, I thought there was a woman there as well, but it's just, just John Travolta's legs. Al Pacino. Wow. Big ego boost last night. You know, this is a drag. What's with you today, huh? You need to change friend groups. Everyone that you're with is so mean. You make twice as much as you make here, but you break your back. You interested? <laughs> but you break your back. It's a good deal. Hey there, thank you. Give me a raise. Give me what? A raise. You kidding me? Oh, uh, he wants to keep him. You should give me a raise. That's an important it's thing. It's only two fifty. So what? Two fifty. Two fifty. It adds up. It adds up. Yeah, how you like that? Yeah. Why don't you say so during dinner? We could have used the conversation. Put that. We could have used the conversation. Don't even buy three dollars. I don't see nobody giving you a raise down on employment. Yeah, be happy for your son. I knew you'd piss on Is it four dollars per her, right? paycheck? A raise. Like four dollars extra or four four dollars extra an hour. Oh, he's wearing a blue shirt today. No, bring back the red. I'm here to watch you come down the street. I like the way you walk. Ah, oh, shit. 
pony. This girl is in love with you, Tony. At 65%. Pete, it's always busting my onions. What the heck is that saying? Busting my onions? He scores with 65% of the chicks that come in here. How? How? No, he doesn't. That's such a lie. That's a Is he really tall? Like, how tall is John Travolta? Like, 6'3? 6'4? Jesus! Only dancing. Forget it in then. If you're not gonna take this seriously, I don't wanna dance. Look at me. Oh, you gotta take it seriously or not at all, Tony. Hmm. <laughs> I like the piano music. Oh, okay, she's practicing here. Look, would you, uh, would you mind just going away, okay? What? Don't be hurt, but I- It's like a girl's never said this to me before. A guy longer than a millionth of a second, already he gets delusions of grandeur. Fair, no. that is so fair. We don't hope so late. What is this, a walking- Did the father die? Did his brother die? Hey, Frankie! Tony. How you doing? How you? He didn't die. He's just here. They hate it. They hate him. Ah. I'm uh, leaving the church, Tony. What? Can I borrow some of your clothes until I buy some? I don't want to wear the uniform. What happened? Why is he leaving? Yeah, you can do those things, you know? Well, then congratulations. I'm glad. I think they're afraid to. Like I might say, celibacy. Oh, man. Yeah, they're definitely afraid. All I ever really had any belief in was their image of me as a priest. So... Well, they pushed for him to be a priest, and so he just did it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I like that conversation. That was... That was really sweet, actually. The church, you believe that? Yeah. I feel, I, I feel wild, I got all this energy, I can't believe it. <laughs> He's so excited about it. I see you. Come on, honey, higher with the arms. Okay, yeah, higher. Hey, hey, hey. Still don't understand how he pulls 65%. The guy with the pipe in his mouth, he is not enjoying this. I bet he's gonna get pulled. Somebody told me he was practicing to be a bitch. Is that true? She's like, yeah, it is. 2001 Odyssey, they, they got a dance contest now. Mm. And be my partner. I am, I'm 19 at the moment, but I will be, I'll be 20 very shortly. 19? What I think is- He's more like 24. Coffee, not sex. It's coffee. See, look, where I work, the people- Ah, he got the date. Julia, yeah? I read that in high school. That's, uh, that's Shakespeare, right? Yeah, he's good. All those women executives in my office, they all drink tea with lemon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they know it's So he's trying to be like them. Yeah. Oh, far out. Yeah. You heard of those restaurants, huh? No, I... No. <laughs> Lawrence Olivier. Who's that? Who's Lawrence Olivier? You didn't know who he is? This lady is so posh. She is on a different side of the planet compared to Tony at the moment. <laughs> Oh, oh, him. Oh, he's good. Yeah. He is good. He is well, totally he faking it. Right? He's totally faking it. All you need is a salad bowl and potato masher. <laughs> what the heck? With your family, you hang out with your buddies, and on Saturday night you go and you blow it all off 2001, right? That's right. Yeah, fair enough. Like where? I don't know where. I don't know. Someplace. Good enough. It's a good enough start. Someplace else. Thanks. But I'm getting older, you know, and... You still got, like, you know, like, at least 15 years of dancing. No, Did you call him? No. <laughs> Did you call him? No, I didn't. <laughs> got in the hospital to see him. He got a broken nose, busted ribs, a broken leg, and four teeth knocked out. It adds some character. It adds some character. Gonna be some form of gang war. Pick off a couple on the street, yeah. Oh, you, that's pussy, yeah, man. Fuck. Girl, you're fucked yeah, up. You're no, just, I'm sorry. You gotta take all of them or none of them. All right, look, if you get married, we'll all go with you on your honeymoon, right? Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say, oh, I actually want that. I want a big gang bang over here. Tony, what did you say to Father Frank Jr.? He's not a father anymore. He's just Frank Jr. A priest is not a priest no more, and he's grown up, so he can do what he wants. Something you said to him. Oh, it's literally not Tony's fault. You got no saint. You got nothing but three shit children. 
fucking now. Good. Good. <laughs> right, the daughter done nothing. The daughter done nothing wrong. I honestly feel like the parents don't love you. They literally blame you for everything, Tony. I, I changed my mind about us dancing together. Uh, oh. I got another partner. Oh. Look, it's, it's professional, you know what I mean? Like, it's oh. All he ever did to you was like you. Give me a break. You were so mean to her. You were so mean to her, Tony. Are there like set dances? That they would just know because they're dancers then? Or are they just good at improv? Did you make that up? Yeah, yeah, no, I saw it on TV first and then I made it up. It's called the Tony Twirl. It's directed. Whoa. There's a big dance floor. That's good, I like that. Yeah. Do, do, do you know so much groove. Oh, the kick of destiny. Ah, uh, they didn't kiss. Oh, they're spinning, they're spinning. They're gonna get so dizzy, they're gonna be like, ah. Well, no, look, I really gotta go home. Hey, she likes him now. You cream over that word interesting, don't you? What's wrong with interesting? You cream over that word. Maybe go to 2001 with a crowd. How about Saturday? Would, would that be good? <laughs> That's an interesting shot of their feet. Intelligent? Yeah, maybe. Maybe intelligent. Everyone's intelligent in their own way. Maybe I can walk you the rest of the way. Let, let me do that. Nope. One day he will. You shouldn't have asked. You should have just done it. Ooh. See what I'm talking about. This is literally my era of dancing because everyone is bad at dancing. <laughs> and disco dancing is literally just... You know, like, I can do that in my sleep. The Moses effect. Good stuff, huh? 77. 77. What is a 77? I'll switch it up after this, I guess. I got one, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah? Maybe they thought she was dead. Maybe they thought you were dead. Forget this. Look out. Oh. Take it over again. He's just doing his own thing now. Yes. Yes, this is the moment I wanted, because this is the moment where he does this BING! Yes. 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 This is probably one of the most iconic dance sequences from the 70s. Okay. Oh, the twist. Okay. Oh, the twist again. Oh. 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 He's literally just improv these things. I could do this. I should do this next time I go to a party. Look at those feet. Look at those feet go. Okay. 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 Oh, the hips. Oh, the sweat off the brow. Strange break dancing. Whoa. 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 What the heck is he doing? The crab dance? Okay. Oh, the hips. The hips. No, keep going. No, keep going. I could have watched that for years. Yeah, I, I talked to everybody, man. <laughs> and I talked to a lot of, a lot of people. A lot of, all right, then. Just get an abortion anyways. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna go home now, eh? You're gonna go home? Yeah. Oh, no, no, stay a little more. He didn't even dance. You can make it now. What? We ain't practicing. We've seen each other like Literally, so stop gunning for him. You don't deserve him. You deserve someone better. Nothing? It doesn't matter though. You don't got nothing? Oh, forget it. Just give me a blowjob, right? Come on. What the heck? What the heck? I don't know if I'd sit right there, buddy. They were literally just having sex. Guess not. And you need to stop loving Tony. He really doesn't love you. And he's being really mean to you. One of them falls, I'd be okay. Oh. The man Tony literally cannot stop dancing. Literally everywhere he goes, he's like cha cha cha, 
Cha cha cha. What? Come on, let's get to sell this motherfucker. All right. Let's push him off. All right. No, don't actually push him off. What if one of them actually falls? Come on, let's go. A little scared. I'm a little scared, actually. I'm actually scared. That actually stressed me out so much. Not what they keep trying to jam you into. You let yes. them do that, and you're gonna end. Good advice. Hey, have a good trip, right? Yeah. See you later, alligator. In your room. Would you leave? Me? What? A trombone. Maybe, maybe. I didn't think you can go and get upset about it. Well, forget upset. I'm not upset. Maybe he's sort of almost like leading someone on, though. He's gonna be here. Yeah, so what'd you come for, huh? Yeah, why did you come then? <laughs> well, that makes no sense. Well, promotional tours with authors and performers. Of course, I'm gonna hate oh. Manhattan. Those look like good burgers. Days and well, concerts I'm just gonna have to miss. They look like good fast food burgers. Something, Joey? He's gonna turn into a dog. No, my dog! Middle child brother never chooses food. He like hum, swallow, oh swallow, and all, every time he eats, we're like, "You're gonna chew your food." He's just like, "Nope, oh 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 oh," swallowing all this food. Don't marry me, Don't marry me. Yeah. I think I get an abortion. Hey, so long, done. I think I'd get an abortion. That was like he actually took that as real advice. She was just joking in a way. Sam's out. Harold's sick. It take me. I got him, Mr. Fusco. Sorry, Tony. Should have asked like two weeks ago. Fired. I'm doing it. Then you're fired. Then fuck you, asshole. What the heck? Fucking parents. A fucking priest on the corner. A fucking high school guidance counselor. The high school guidance counselor. All right, right. take care. I'll, I'll talk to you later then. Yeah. Me tonight, right? Tony feels very self-centered, you know? Like, this guy actually has these real issues, and Tony's almost brushing them off. I know Tony has things to do as well, but still, like, it doesn't feel like Tony's gonna call him tonight. You know, it's Saturday. Yeah. Well, nobody bitch in my office. I got the whole day off. Okay, you're not gonna say... Hey, I'm sorry. There you go. Music is top-notch in this movie. Oh, was it taking place in Philadelphia? Like most of that? I'm trying to think where Rocky's from, and Rocky's from Philly. And there was a bridge in Rocky, so it must have been Philadelphia. Did I? Is that right? Well, super. Stephanie, I told you not to say super. Nobody says super anymore. <laughs> what? Uh, That's so rude. That is so rude. No, I'm fun. not. We, we, had, we had a thing, you know? It, it didn't work out, and it's over now, and he's my friend, and he still likes me. I don't know. Oh, there you go. He still likes you, yeah. I go back to work, and everything would be all right. Otherwise, I'd be walking around like an idiot, going, I don't know, I don't know. But he kind of used you as well. Ah, oh, that's a really nice view of the bridge. The center span right there is 4,260 feet long. He is intelligent. Pouring the cement and he slipped off, you know, on the upper part of the bridge and, uh, you know, fell in. Fell into the cement and then they just decided not to take him out. His eyes were watering. Oh, I was expecting them to like full on kiss in that in that moment. A fucking sleazy whore. <laughs> I was dancing with the fella, you yeah. know. Dan They're just dancing. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, Tell yeah. me, I, I was what? just dancing with what? the guy. What? You so butt heard about this. Why is she still doing this? Like how? She has to be done. She has to understand. This barracuda thing feels very shoved and like forced into the story. This is not a good idea, guys. Ooh, he got a bottle broken on his head. Looks like their getaway car has gotten away without them. Watch the chair! Ooh, you didn't watch out for the chair. I should have said it a little earlier. Sorry about that. Come on! Let's go, okay? Ooh, that would have hurt. Huh? I was driving around. I was, oh, I was, Jesus Christ. I was looking for you. Where were you? 
I was looking for you. Great, you know, only, uh, you know, I ain't so sure with the Barracudas. What? They just beat up these guys for no reason? They didn't even go to see him first? I have lights. Oh shit, what do you think I am? You think I'm a coward? What do you think you are? Enough Whoa. of this shit already. This guy is becoming a menace. And what happened to your face, huh? <laughs> oh, I, I cut myself shaving. Yeah, up there? Sure. These guys are pretty good, they're jiving. That was actually impressive, and it was on beat. That was sick. Now we have Stephanie Mangano and Tony Monero. Yeah. Let's right. see it. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. That's a really good close up. Okay, okay. They're so smooth. I like this unbroken take too, where you can see like they're all of their body just dancing. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm basically John Travolta's dance partner at this point. Ah, oh, the spin, the spin, the triple spin with the lift. Whoa, that's a cool camera shot. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, they're kissing, I didn't even realize, what the heck? Woo! More than a woman. Oh man, the lighting is actually beautiful in this disco place. Okay guys, you're supposed to be dancing, this is a dance competition here. Oh yeah, I bet they're gonna have so much fire in their dance, you know? Why? Why do you have to say that? Why do you feel the need? Yes. See, there's so much energy in this dance. Oh, the kick! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, let's go! Yeah, this is good. Yeah, you guys gotta step it up a little bit if you wanna win. Cause I don't think you're gonna be winning after this performance. I wanna hear that shit, they was fucking better than us. They weren't better, they was different, that's all, just different. Bullshit. I like that Tony's accepting that they're better than them and all his friends are not. I like that. No way. No way, Puerto Rico should have won. I'm sorry, Tony. He's not happy with it. He's not happy with it. He knows he shouldn't have won. He's so done. He's so done. Come on, your ass, man. Look, we won it. Stephanie, that was rigged. Yeah, that was definitely rigged. Give it to no spick or no stranger. What are you crazy? We was just as Give the money to them. Give the money to them. Whoa! Come on, get away! You know, you're such a fucking cock tease, you know that? You fucking call me no goddamn cock tease! What the heck? Oh! Oh, Stephanie! You kinda deserve that. Hey, what is with you, huh? What you doing? What you, you little what punk? What you little boxer? What is it, man? What the fuck is it? You don't get Tony really just attacking everyone. Hey, you fuck. The first is always the best. What the heck? Why the <laughs> heck are they having sex with everyone else in the car? That is so weird. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this is so disgusting. What the heck? Now you're a cunt. Why is everyone so mean to her? I swear to God. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Look at me! Look at your punk! Bobby, get down! It's too dangerous! Look at me, Tony! Oh no, Bobby's gonna die. Someone has to fall off this bridge. Yeah. <laughs> 
Someone's falling. He's falling. No, don't get upset. Come on, we'll talk. We'll go talk in the car. It's warm in there. You didn't talk to me before. Yeah. There you go. Talk, all right? I didn't want to fuck up this time. <laughs> I told you Bobby was falling off. Bobby was literally only the only semi good person. I guess John Travolta a little bit, but he's still kind of a menace. The drums mean he's on a mission. I hope he's reflecting on how he's been a menace to society. Yeah, it's me, Stephanie. Sorry about last night. You're sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Stephanie. I just Stephanie, my uh, sorry. What am I trying to say? Sorry, might not cut it. So what are you doing? Why not sit on a chair or a couch? Why are you there? So uncomfortable. Big deal. I'm an able person. I'm not can do these things. Yeah, of course you can. She's supportive. You could be friends with a girl. Could you stand being friends with a girl? <laughs> the truth. Yeah. It's Lily turning a new leaf. There's a very sensual hand hold for friends. Ah, that's it. Ends on a freeze frame like everything else. And that was my reaction to Saturday Night Fever, the groovy 1977 musical dance film starring John Travolta, Karen Lynn Gorney, Donna Peskow, and then a bunch of other people like Barry Miller, Martin Shakar, Joseph Kelly, Paul Pape, and Lisa Peluso. I thought that movie, I have very mixed feelings on that movie to be honest with you because the dancing sequences I absolutely loved. I loved every second whenever the BG songs played. I thought the soundtrack was great because again, I loved every second when the BG songs played. And when uh, some of the other elements too, there was like this disco classical theme, which I thought was awesome. Everything in the disco bar, I guess, and in the ballrooms and stuff. And just whenever they were dancing and jiving and grooving, I really enjoyed those moments. However, I do think there are some things in this movie that haven't aged well. And yes, I know I know that this movie was made in 1977, and I know things were different in 1977. I know the world was way different than it is now. People weren't as, I guess, cautious when they were making decisions on movies and characters and stuff, but I just found John Travolta's character, Cho Tony, and then the kind of group of boys that he was with, I found them to be menaces to society and I found them very unlikable. Tony less so, Bobby less so, but the other ones very unlikable and even Tony made a lot of very unlikable decisions and he kind of came off as a douche in a way. Like yes, he had feelings, yes, he was kinder than the rest of the other boys besides maybe Bobby who I feel like really didn't do much wrong. He was just kind of in the wrong group and no one really cared for him. But Tony made a lot of decisions where I was like, I don't really like you for making that decision. Like I know you're just gonna be brushing Bobby off tonight and you're not gonna call him. Or like, why are you literally raping this woman in the back of the car? Or why are you letting this woman get raped in the back of your car. You know what I mean? Like there are a lot of things in this movie where I was like, uh, like, I don't know how I feel about that. But then the dancing sequences came on and I was like, I'm jiving, I'm grooving, I'm dancing. It's fun. John Travolta is a good dancer. Let's go. And so, yeah, so I have very mixed feelings on this movie, which I guess you'll just see during this review because again I don't think this was a bad movie I actually really like really really enjoyed the dancing sequences I thought this was a musical as well I thought people were going to be singing and stuff in it so I was a little taken aback at first when I realized that's not the case but uh, I mean I didn't really mind I loved the Bee Gees music and stuff and yeah again I thought the soundtracks were great uh, I thought some of the cinematography was really good in this movie it's just it was just the characters I felt were weird. I just, I don't know. There was something about the characters that just kind of gave me an 
icky feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the reviews of this movie, then I'll talk about the soundtrack, and then the things that I liked, and then maybe touch on the things that I didn't like, but maybe the things that I didn't like will kind of pop in to the things that I like. Maybe I'll do like a compare contrast sort of thing. So I don't really know how that's gonna go. I'll, I'll figure it out when I get to it. <laughs> It'll all be some improv. My reviews are usually very improv-y. So 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb and 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it seems like critics really enjoy this movie and audiences are way more mixed. And I can see why audiences would be mixed on this movie. I myself am very mixed. On, on this movie. I think 6.8 is a pretty good score for audiences and I can see people giving reviews from watching this when they were kids and stuff and be very nostalgic about it but then I can see people watching this movie today with a very critical eye and not really liking a lot of the subject matter in it or gr agreeing with a lot of the subject matter in it and see the thing is it be just because you don't agree with subject matter in something doesn't mean you can't objectively look at a movie and say okay well it was a good movie you know it was done well it was made well it had its fun moments and I just don't agree with the message like you can totally think that and I think a lot of people that's how a lot of people feel about this movie especially uh, like the younger generations and stuff or like my generations will think about this movie they'll be like yeah the dancing sequences were really fun some really good cinematography some really good music it was a lot of fun at times but there was just something about it that I don't fully agree with and I think that's why the reviews are maybe lower than some of the other musicals we have watched on this channel. The music in this movie and the soundtrack was amazing. The Bee Gees, I don't listen to them too much but I do like what I listen to and a lot of the songs I knew but I just hadn't listened to enough to know the words so I wasn't able to sing the song sadly but I was able to jive and dance and jive is the key word because 70s I feel like jive was a big word in the 70s maybe if, I, if I'm wrong then I'm wrong but jive is going to be the word I use because it makes me feel like I'm part of the 70s but yeah the music was energetic it was it was just it was just danceable you know what I mean you stick this movie on at any time and you know you're gonna be dancing with John Travolta and whoever he is dancing with whoever his dance partner is with the Bee Gees in the background it was just so much fun uh, staying alive played like three times in the movie and the opening sequence is very iconic and then the sequence when he is dancing by himself in the disco thing and everyone's like surrounding him and he's doing like that whole dancing sequence is very iconic. I've seen glimpses of the Stayin' Alive sequence and I saw I've seen glimpses before this movie of him doing like the like this and so I was really excited for those moments and they delivered. They were so fun. John Travolta is so full of this charisma and this energy in his dance moves. Just like the move of the hips. Like it's almost like he knows he is like the sexiest man in the room at the moment and he knows all eyes. I guess all eyes are on him, but he like he knows that and he wants that and he and he basically flourishes that. In his body and it was just really cool it was just really fun to see and again it just John Travolta is really cool and he's dancing and stuff like that I don't know I think that's like my favorite like I like him in Pulp Fiction and stuff I really like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction but I think I enjoy him more as a dancer <laughs> in movies I don't know there's just he just provides so much energy and bravado and charisma in his dance moves and it, it's just really fun and I really enjoyed watching him dance and that's not really I guess we've kind of moved away from the music now but the music was really good in this movie. The cinematography in this movie was was actually pretty good. There were some weird shots in this movie, like in the Stayin' Alive sequence at the very start. There's some really weird, like, side angle looking straight up from his feet type of shots while John Travolta walks, and they were like really ducked angles, and then there was another one right after that was kind of flipped to the other side, and I don't know, it was very weird. It was a little jarring. There were definitely some jarring moments in this movie with, with the editing or the camera work and stuff. There's this random shot where John Travolta and Stephanie are just walking and all of a sudden it's like this five, six second shot of just their feet. And usually when a movie inserts a shot like that, it's cause it'll come back later and be important. Like the shoes that they are wearing or how they're walking is gonna be important. Or maybe it's gonna be a reveal of another character showing up and you'll see their feet first, you know? But that one, it was just a shot of their feet walking for like six seconds and it felt a little out of place. Like there were definitely editing moments like that in the movie, which felt jarring. And I was like, oh, that was weird that you put it there. But, but I still thought some of the cinematography was excellent. When they're on the bridge, Bobby and Tony, and it's like the wide and Bobby is on the left and Tony is on the right. And then it's just this wide shot on the beam and stuff. Like I thought that was a really beautiful shot, but the moments that I'm thinking of, that I'm really thinking of in my head are the moments 
moments in the disco rooms. The disco room, wherever they were, the 2001 Odyssey place, whatever that was, was literally the best parts of the movie. Whenever they were there, I was fully invested, not just because of the epic dancing, the awesome songs that were playing, but because the cinematography was so beautiful. And I think a lot of that has to do with the lighting of the movie as well, because it was these very beautiful, or uh, red and blue lights, like these very prolific red and blue lights that were everywhere. And then sometimes there were like these almost like Christmas lighty looking things with all of these different colors that were bokeh out in the background. And they, it was just a very beautiful setting and the lighting made for a very beautiful dance floor. But the camera work as well complemented that really, really well with these beautiful, beautiful wide shots that lingered and lingered and lingered on them as they danced. The camera moved with the John Travolta as he danced. If John Travolta moved left, the camera would move left. And you know, my, some of my favorite shots were these very simple like overhead shots where the camera's just moving slightly to the left and it's kind of going up a little bit and it's looking down and you can see Tony and Stephanie just dancing away like crazy and you can, and the camera just lets you watch them dance like you're someone in the audience and I really enjoyed that. Also, I really like the shots where John Travolta was dancing and the camera was kind of looking up at him a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why I love that shot. And then there was the shot where Stephanie's in his arms and John Travolta looks like he's going to kiss her and the camera's tilted, like this weird tilt. And then as she comes up, the camera flips back to normal. It was really cool. I loved that. And I thought the camera work, especially, especially in the dance stuff was amazing. Cause yes, the, there were some jarring elements. The fight in the Barracuda place I thought was filmed kind of poorly. I, I don't know. It just like, I couldn't really tell what was happening. It was a little dark. Maybe it was just my TV that was going on, but it was very shaky cam. Cause obviously like in the moment, shaky cam, a lot of filmmakers would do that, but it just didn't really work for me, the fight. And I wasn't really invested in the fight, but everything in the disco thing, the cinematography, the camera work, the dancing, the music, all of that, the lighting was just all perfect every single time they were in the 2001 Odyssey disco area. So yeah, I guess my biggest complaint in this movie was our main character, Tony. Like obviously his, his, his cronies were really bad, you know, like they were actually like bad, bad people, and I would never even acquaint myself with them in real life. But Tony, Tony was a very interesting character, that's for sure. He was definitely very, he was definitely pretty layered, I'd say. Like, he had this family thing, he had his brothers, he had his friends, he had Annette and then Stephanie as well, and then the discoing, and maybe not being smart enough to do these big things, but wanting to do more than dancing eventually, because dancing can't last forever. You know, there are definitely layers to his character, and I'm not saying because I didn't like Tony. It doesn't mean that he's not a good character per se. You know, he's not a well-written character. He was just written in a way which I didn't like because he kept making these decisions that I just really hated. And a lot of the times they weren't even decisions that were central to the story. You know, sometimes characters will make these really bad decisions, but they'll be central to the story. They'll be tugging on these two strings and one of them will give them something they want. One of them won't, but the one that gives them something they want will be a bad decision, but they take it anyways. And maybe they'll regret it later or something. You know, characters always make bad decisions, but Tony, just kept making so many, especially, especially with his friends and people that liked him. I'm speaking about Annette and Bobby here. He treated Annette like absolute garbage. He, she was obviously in love with him. She kept making moves and it felt at the start that Tony was almost playing her. You know, she was, he was dancing with her. He had or at least tried to have sex with her in the car and stuff like that before she said she didn't have condoms or anything. You know, he was dancing with her, being her dance partner for the for the event for a bit, but he obviously didn't love her, but he was almost leading her on as well. And then whenever she tried to make a move, he would literally shoot her down, which is fine, but then stop leading her on in the first place. And then, I don't know, it was just, it was just, he treated her so badly. And I was like, Annette, Annette, you, he is literally kicking you into the dirt right now. Like, pick yourself up and let's go find someone else. Pick yourself up, I will be your wingman, Annette, and I will help you find someone else. Literally, she gets, she gets attacked, abused, and raped in the back of his car, or not, I guess not his car, but in the back of the car that he's in, and he doesn't say anything. And then he leaves her, I mean, obviously, because Bobby's in trouble, but he still leaves her, even after Bobby falls in the water, let's say, even after Bobby falls in the water, he leaves Annette with the boys that had just 
raped her in the car so he can go off and just stay up and think about his life which sure he it's it's good that he was thinking about his life and stuff like that but he left this person this woman in the car with these men who she obviously didn't want to be there and she obviously was feeling threatened and stuff by them so i don't know it was just so many bad decisions towards her and then bobby as well he never cared about him and bobby was actually like the nicest one of the group he didn't participate in many fights he kind of felt kind of like the odd one out in the group whereas he didn't feel like he fit in but he was just there because he kind of had to be there at that point point. and then like bobby's life bobby was having a lot of struggles in his life with the girl with the pregnancy he didn't know what to do he didn't want to marry this girl but his family were forcing him to marry this girl and stuff like what do you do in this situation Situation. If you've made someone pregnant, I would say that you should pr help raise the baby. It is your baby, of course, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should marry them. But I guess in the 70s, things were different, so you probably would have had to marry them in the first place. But he was going through all of these struggles, you know, and Tony just kind of brushed his friend aside and it led to his death. Tony is, was one of the direct causes to Bobby slipping and falling off the bridge and kind of going loopy before that, kind of going crazy because he felt so alone in the world and Tony was a big part of that. So, you know, there were a lot of things that I didn't like about Tony and it kind of made me very mixed on the movie because yes, you can have a flawed character, that is totally okay, but Tony never really understood his flaws like I don't know his his little reprieve at the end where he goes to see Stephanie and stuff like that and says sorry about what he did in the car and then he's like thinking probably about Bobby and stuff as well it just wasn't enough for me to come to terms with all the bad things that he had done Ooh, okay so that was a big rant about Tony um yeah so it may seem like I actually hated this movie with all the stuff that I didn't like but I did think that this movie was really good in places and I thought that it was mixed in others. Like, I don't know, it was just, it was like a, there was so many ups and so many downs in this movie for me, where I'm just very mixed on it overall. But the dancing sequences and just everything else about, I mean, the dancing sequences and all the disco stuff and the music and the cinematography and stuff, I thought was really good. It was just the characters that I felt were iffy and since the characters were a big part of the movie it, it kind of brought the movie down in a lot of aspects when they weren't at the disco place for me. I'm not really going to talk about the cast because the the main kind of group of people like the the boys I guess they, they weren't they didn't really have too much character so I'm not really going to talk about them. I talked about Bobby a lot. I talked about Ned a lot. Uh, Stephanie I just thought like Karen Lynn Gorney. I thought she was pretty good at Stephanie. She was really good at dancing. Their kissing moment and stuff in the disco hall I thought was really good. But again, I don't know. She just like became friends with John Travolta very, very easily. I get that he was probably very confused and stuff like that and angry. And then when he when he did that stuff to her in the car, but still, I don't know. She kind of, it felt like she let her guard down way too easily for him. I felt like he, she should have given him a little bit of a tougher time, but I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. But I still think that she did a very good job. And then I obviously, I just talked a lot about John Travolta's character. I talked about the good things that I liked with his dancing and how charismatic he is and stuff as his character and just as John Travolta in general. And then I talked about the bad things that I didn't like about his character. So that will be it for my review. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a a lot. There will be some more movie musicals in the future. I'm thinking like Singing in the Rain and stuff like that. Some some classic musicals. Maybe like the the old West Side Story. There there are some there's some good ones out there. But if there are any other ones that I've missed from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s that you think I should check out, like maybe like Moulin Rouge. I don't know how interested people would be in that one. Then just let me know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.